Hey guys, this is Josh Grison with another Starlink update video. I've been putting together some content today after uh, doing a bunch of downloads and the downloads I was doing were for some games. So I don't have any consoles, but I do have a PC and I used to do quite a bit of PC gaming. I used to play a lot of Starcraft, quite a bit of Counter-Strike, um, some Call of Duty, and I also did a lot of Battlefield. But what I got ready for you guys today is some Fortnite and some Counter-Strike Counter Strike Go. You guys were asking if you can game on Starlink, and so I figured I'd just show you how well it works. Uh, and then before we get into that, I also wanted to do another quick speed test. The configuration I got set up for us today is a wired connection. So I know there's I've had a combination of videos uh, over the last week where some were wired, some were wireless. My standard configuration is a Dell XPS 15 with five gigahertz uh, connection to a wireless router in my house. It's literally behind me uh, up in that box. So it gets a pretty good signal. It doesn't bother me, but a lot of people are pretty specific about the type of connection they want, especially if they're pretty competitive in the gaming. So I did want to give it a real true test for those folks that are serious about it. Um, so this is wired, um, but know that the wired connection is coming through a dock. So it's a Dell XPS 15 laptop that's connected to a dock over USB-C and then it has a wired network connection going directly to the Starlink router, and that's it. Um, so yeah, that's the configuration. I'll do a quick speed test, and then we'll jump right into the gaming. I won't do too much talking. I'll just kind of let you see it. There's um, the specs of the connections on the screen on Fortnite. It shows you what the ping is, what the latency, you know, which is the latency, and also the frames per second. And I have the same thing configured on Counter-Strike. So yeah, enjoy the video, and please like and subscribe if you like the content. I'll keep coming at you guys with some more videos. I got lots more comments that I need to address and a lot of questions that you guys have asked. And I'm gonna to try to dig into them one by one and try to post what I find. So that way you guys can hopefully learn as I learn too. So just so you guys know, uh, it looks like the Ookla speed test is the one to use. So most people seem to recommend it. Uh, out of all the different comments I've gotten, the Ookla speed test is by far the most recommended one to do. Uh, so this is one is uh, an app that I downloaded. They have a web version, but uh, this is the downloaded version, and it seems to work pretty well. And it lets you keep the history, which I like. Kind of like Test My Net that I showed you guys before. It would like like to log that history. If you download the Windows version of the Ookla Speed Test app, uh, it does give you that record that you can use. And so the first speed test I'm doing here looks like it's coming around okay about 96 down at a ping of 23 and 13.5 up I've definitely had better um, I'll show you the history here you can see that uh, I do see quite a bit of fluctuation I mean this is just in the last you know 10 to 15 minutes so it can vary quite a bit and this is in beta so I would expect it to vary quite a bit that's what they've communicated but assuming you get consistent speeds on on the high end uh, which is probably what they're shooting for. Uh, you know, I, I think this could be a good experience. And as you'll see when we're gaming, I don't really have too many issues with it, uh, but I'll let you guys be the judge on that. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the gaming and you can see what it looks like. B is clear. more inside that could be
Smoke, 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 smoke. No way! Smoke. No way. Bomba, bomba, bomba. Oh shit. There's one cat somewhere, at least. Frames per second, the ping, and all the other performance information is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And it seems to be really consistent for satellite internet. I would say it's comparable to a lot of broadband. Definitely better than point to point wireless I'm used to. Now we're diving in on a Fortnite match. And you can see the specs kind of in the top left. And the frames per second in the top right. Not that that has anything to do with Starlink. <laughs> 